Movement is very important in fighting games. It is how a player positions their character to give an advantage to themselves or to give a disadvantage to their opponent. This is especially powerful in Tekken as having your back to the wall not only limits your options, but it also means that moves that are previously not quite so dangerous will become health bar melting levels of dangerous at the wall. But sidestepping or sidewalking particularly near your opponent can put you in danger of being hit with a tracking move. There has to be a way of maneuvering away from your opponent in a way that will keep you fairly safe, right? All the universal movement options in Tekken are powerful, but possibly the one that is the most useful the most often is backdash cancelling, also known as Korean backdashing. Unlike in other fighting games like Street Fighter or Guilty Gear, you're able to cancel your backdash in Tekken at any point during it by pressing any button or direction other than back. Most notably, backdashes can be cancelled by pressing down back or down. As soon as you press down back or down after a backdash, you're able to backdash again. Chaining these together can let you move backwards fairly quickly, far faster than you could by just doing a standard backdash. Also be aware that you want a nice deep backdash before you cancel your backdash, or else you won't be able to backdash as far or as fast. For most characters, backdash cancel starts with back back to start the backdash, and then quarter circle back to cancel the backdash. This is why that you'll hear people say, if you can wave dash on one side, then you can backdash cancel on the other side. But a few of you may be saying, if I do a quarter circle back, my character does a sway. I can't backdash cancel like that. And that's why you're right when I said most characters. Characters like Paul, Brian, and Nina are not able to backdash cancel with a quarter circle back motion. If anything, you're more likely to put yourself in danger if you do, as you cannot block during a sway. This is why you'll need to learn how to properly backdash cancel. In order to properly backdash cancel, do a backdash like normal, then slide the d-pad or stick or your whatever input method you use directly to down back, then directly to back once more. If done right, you'll have canceled your backdash and you're able to do whatever you want. You're also able to press back again after sliding back from down back to instantly do another backdash, saving you from having to press it three times. This works because sliding to back from down back still counts as pressing back. Another important thing to keep in mind is that not all backdashes are created equal. Some characters like Eddie will have an amazing backdash, whereas the Bears and Gigas will have the worst, so keep that in mind when forming a game plan around your character's movement. Another form of movement cancelling available to everyone is known as the electric sidestep. It is done by cancelling your sidestep just before it ends and doing another sidestep right after. It is possible to chain these together to quite literally run circles around your opponent. The input for electric sidesteps is back, up or down back, to up or down. It is important that you don't press up for very long or else you'll jump. It is possible to do this with forward instead of back as well, but just keep in mind you will not be blocking at any point, so be careful. Backdash cancelling effectively is different when playing on a keyboard, hitbox, or mixbox due to how the most commonly used method involves input scrubbing. I won't make a video on it, instead I'm just going to link a video from Hitbox's YouTube channel that will teach you how to better backdash using those control styles.